Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on 3D shapes. Uh, so in this video we'll be going through a few key terms uh, and we'll look at a few different examples of some 3D shapes. Uh, so let's jump straight into it. Uh, so the first key term that we'll come across is vertices. So vertices are the corners of shapes. Uh, so this here is a vertex, which is the singular, vertices is the plural. Uh, and then the next key term, edges. So edges are the straight sides on the edges of a 2D shape. Uh, and then finally, faces. Now faces are the 2D shapes uh, that make up the sides of the 3D shapes. So for instance, this square here uh, is a face. Okay, so let's go through each of these shapes one by one uh, and just uh, go through each of these properties. So the first shape is known as a tetrahedron. So a tetrahedron is a specific type of pyramid where all the faces are equilateral triangles. Uh, the number of vertices is four, the number of edges is six, and the number of faces is four. Okay, next we have a cube. Uh, now a cube uh, is like a three-dimensional square, if you like, so all the faces are squares. Uh, the number of vertices is eight, the number of edges is 12, and the number of faces is six. Uh, next we have a cuboid, so a cuboid is a sort of three-dimensional equivalent of a rectangle. Again, there are eight vertices, 12 edges and six faces. Uh, and then this last one here is a square-based pyramid. Uh, so in this case, there are five vertices, eight edges and five faces. So onto some other shapes. Uh, so again, I'm just gonna put vertices, edges, faces, or VEF for short. Uh, so the first shape here is a triangular prism. Uh, so a prism is like a 2D shape uh, stretched outwards. So the 2D shape is known as a cross section. So in this case, the cross section is a triangle. Uh, and in a triangular prism, there are six vertices, nine edges, and five faces. Uh, next we have a cylinder. So a cylinder you can think of as a circular prism. Uh, there are no vertices, there's two edges, uh, so that's these edges here, so the front and back face where they meet the curved face, uh, and then there are three faces. And then this is a cone, uh, there's one vertices, that's, or vertex, sorry, that's at the top, there's one edge, so that's the base, and there are two faces, so that's the curved side and the bottom side. And then finally, we have a sphere. Uh, there are zero vertices, zero edges, and only one face, uh, the, the one face that goes all the way around. So let's have a look at an example. Uh, so in this example, uh, we're asked to draw a cuboid. Uh, so a cuboid can be any rectangle sort of stretched into three dimensions. So I'll just draw this rectangle here. Uh, now, this is quite a skill that you kind of have to just practice, um, but I'm gonna draw a diagonal line going backwards. Uh, so this line goes three squares to the right and three squares upwards. Uh, so I'll draw the same line coming from this corner here. So three squares to the right and three squares backwards. And I'll draw the same line going from the bottom right corner, so three up and three to the right. Uh, and then we just have to connect at the corners. Uh, if you like, you can also draw the same line from the bottom left corner, so three up and three to the right, and then just connect the inside corners. Uh, both are good drawings of a cuboid. So if you're looking to improve on this topic, why not visit our online exam? You can get there through our revision platform, so if you take the test, you'll find a number of different questions on 3D shapes, faces, edges, and vertices. Uh, you'll find a variety of different question types as well. So there'll be multiple choice questions. There'll be some questions where you just have to type an answer in. Uh, and all of it is instantly marked. So you'll get some feedback straight away, which will help you keep track of the areas that you need to improve at. So if you're interested and you want to take the test, then click the link below. It'll take you straight there.